wait, can I do it? Wait, I haven't done it. Episode five. I haven't done a single one. Neither have. Whatever this is. <laughs> What's up, bro? Okay, so today we're going to be filming behind the scenes. Yeah, and bloopers and everything that happens on the Pom Pom Diary set. Yeah, it happens right here. Stay tuned. You guys, this is this is behind the yeah, scenes. Be 50 bucks. Of the Pom Pom, 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 Pom Diary. Diary. Yes, this is Anissa's episode. Are they your name? Are they? I don't, I'm Andy. Andy. Wait, Andy. Wait, wait. What's your name today? What's my, I'm Principal. Hi, Principal Martin. Hi, we have a new student today. Class, I'd like to introduce you to Monica. Hey guys, I'm Monica, and... What's Monica's deal? I'm 12 years old, vaping. and I... Are you vaping? What, what do you think? You can't do that here. Wow. Take a chill pill. I'm not dumb. I'm definitely a troublemaker, and I don't really care what other people think of me. But like, I don't really like to be a part of drama. I kind of just go along with it. Can he just like use this stuff to like ruin his life a little? She has a mess up dad, if you know what that means. Uh, I'll get her for you. Monica! Monica! He uh, drinks a lot. He's drunk. He knocks things over. My dad's busy being drunk and knocking things over. And good luck to you getting my mom out of bed. I basically have a really horrible home life, so that also like messes in with my life and how I treat other people. I know what you're thinking. Why is Monica always lurking on everyone's discussion? I swear, I'm not nosy. I'm just kind of always in the wrong place at the right time. My name is Willow. I am 12 years old. I just turned 12 years old. And she's cool. And I'm poor. <laughs> I'm like, I always bring my dad from Pokemon cards. Like, Hey guys, welcome to What's Up with Willow. Today we're going to talk about what a nightmare it is to be poor in a school full of rich girls. My friends live constantly on a diet full of Starbucks, going shopping anytime they feel sad about anything, and putting their school books in stupid Gucci bags. Meanwhile, I'm over here begging my dad for a pack of Skittles. I, my favorite color is rose gold and orange. We're doing colors? Willow is a very smart girl. That's why she's doing math on set. Uh, Willow is a girl who is very poor. She has a little sister and a single dad. It's just... It seems so unfair sometimes. I just I just want to fit in and I want to do the things that my friends can do. She is getting cyber bullied and has a crush on this guy that she can't date. Lucas was Andy's boyfriend in fifth grade. And she can't be his girlfriend because of the girl code. What's the girl code? Willow is the girl who typically stays out of drama in the fighting room. <gasps> Unless... You sure about that? Actually, that's a lie. You are lying. No, we don't. It, it just, I, I, it's better if we include her. For now, at least, you know? And, and, oh, my fake boyfriend. I'm her boyfriend. What? Hold on, Rolo. What the heck? Since when do you have a boyfriend? You know, he pays me $400 every week to date him. What? Because he was a nerd and I he knew it. it. Hear me out. I'll pay you $400 to pretend to be my girlfriend for two weeks. Just pretend. You would actually pay me for that? I feel like, I feel like she doesn't exactly just like stay out of the drama. I feel like she never causes the drama, but still is in Actually, I would like to say that I have caused like a bunch of drama between like Noah. Honestly, I was just trying to shoot my shot with the handsome guys, but I guess I caught you at a bad time. Oh, uh, well, wait, wait, wait. Uh, and especially like me getting kicked out of the school. Wait, then you guys know how she got kicked out of school? Yeah, of course. Don't you know? I'm Andy Elaine, and you know, I'm really the queen of the school. Don't take it personally. You're the only person in this whole school I can talk to who isn't trying to compete with me. I, I kind of dated this nerd. We've been smooth selling all semester, and now I'm not even allowed to look at you while we're in school. But then you decided to date Monica over there. What the heck is this? Oh, hi, Andy. This is my friend, Noah. No. Vape, you mean the vape queen? First, <laughs> that's my line. No, uh, shut Vaporella. it, shut it, Vaporella. Shut it, Vaporella. Can you believe the nerve? Miss Tobacco be there comes into our school, lies to me, and stabs me in the back. Well, what can you tell us about Andy? She has an yeah, Andy has an eating disorder because of my mom. That's breakfast? Those girls won't be able to lift you, much less throw you. You keep pigging out like that. 
Cheer captain. Not She's for long. Amazing. <laughs> no, I'm coming in. No, I, I'm. I'm. No, I'm staying in. You're too poor to go to cheer con. Yeah, yeah and I'm rich, loser. And, and you, and you're too. Oh. I'm actually getting four hundred bucks. Wait, okay, so really are you Casey? Yeah, You're Casey. not not last name. Okay. But yeah, I feel like in the friend group, I'm kind of like the outcast. Yeah, we don't really like Casey. What? Okay, they don't, it's not that they don't like me, it's just I have other She's friends. Emo. I'm not emo. Oh, it's probably that weird music she keeps on listening to. She's like a goth. Or an emo. But you're a goth or an emo, Casey. We have not either. If anybody has a problem with anything that anyone says or does, it's my fault. I wrote it. What's up, guys? My name is Julian Vidal-Resaga, and I am playing Noah. Uh, we've seen each other around, but uh, I don't think we actually really talked in public. He's a, he's a cool guy. He's just not the right kind of cool guy. He's a, oh, he's a okay. misfit. He's an outlaw. Yeah. He does yeah. his own thing. I was worried people are going to be mean to him since he's not a popular kid. Hey, Sue, what we're we talking to you? Yeah, I think you're the wrong in the hallway. All the clowns hang up by the janitor's closet. Whatever. He's an individual. He's, 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 he's got the curly hair and everything. Could you be friends with your character in her life? Mm, not if they kissed my ex boyfriend at summer camp, which is basically. What if she didn't know? I broke girl code and I kissed Lucas at summer camp last summer, but I promise, I didn't even know you guys knew each other. If she didn't know. Yes. Then, yeah, yes. I don't even care if, if, if they kiss my ex-boyfriend or if they're dating my ex-boyfriend. I don't care. Because yeah. that's not a big deal. Even if I think they like them. Even in real life. Like, I don't care. Yeah, I, I don't care about Move on. It's very mature. Yeah. You didn't break girl code. You didn't even know. I know, but it's just messed up and I want to do things right. <laughs> there, are there any iconic moments? What is your favorite What is your favorite moment in the show so far? The fight my, with Andy and Bailey. Yes. My favorite that moment. That was so intense. No, does, any, does anybody know what the next scene is about? Yeah. It's about me beating up Monica. Don't fight tonight. I mean, you're beating, I, I, I'm beating up Keisha. Yeah. And no, I'm beating actually, up Monica. I, I, actually, I won the fight. Yeah, who's going to win this fight? I don't know if I wrote it. Though. I actually, if we actually fought, I think we all know I won the fight. I used to wrestle, and I also have two older brothers. Are you afraid you're gonna break a nail or something? Step back, baby. You do not want to mess with me today. All right, cut. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> the way we were like, we know we don't have to fight, so we're like. <laughs> if you, if you and Peja threw hands, IRL. Oh, she'd win. Or are you walking through it? Right. Okay, All right. Favorites? Do you have any favorite lines? Any any burns? Any, oh, any quips? I have, I have my, my favorite line is cheer and dance don't mix. You're on cheer. I'm on dance. Listen, Monica. I don't know how your old school worked, but cheer and dance don't mix. Um, I heard that there's going to be a season two. Do you know anything about that? Yes, there's going to be a season two where some juicy stuff happens. Okay, Mom, comes out of me. Scene 11, take three. Scene 11, take three. Scene seven, take two. Scene seven, take four, right? Yeah. Episode three, scene seven, shot blank, take one. Rolling! I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. I didn't tell anyone. I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. I didn't tell anyone. I kept the whole thing a secret. I was worried people were gonna hurt you, dude. <laughs> She's been the absolute worst since she got here. <laughs> okay, please, Misha. I'm laughing. Cause you're, she's the absolute worst since she got here. No, I went to start. Stupid Monica. She's been the absolute worst since Harvey's <laughs> life. Oh. Whoa, is everything okay? No, stupid Monica. She's
She's in the absolute worst since she got here. A team, king and a queen, gold crowns, everything. This is all that I dream. This is all that I dream. A team, every day, sunshine coming our way. This is all that I dream. Come run away with me. We are in the locker room. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna do that so basically. Again. You guys wait, have wait, to Does anybody have any favorite any favorite moments okay. in this locker room? Major punches it. I don't know if this episode is out yet, but she goes, yeah. and yeah, she goes, she goes, something from the dark. Oh, no, 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 she says, she, she's like, like, it's like about Charlie, she's like, I'm just gonna find that nerd and shove him so far in this locker, it's gonna take a whole year to dig him out. Where is he? I'm gonna shove that nerd so far up his locker, it's gonna take a whole oh, year to dig him out! Whoa, whoa, Andy. Oh, also my favorite part about the Pom Pom Diaries is when I slap Charlie. Chaz. Chaz. Excuse me, I want it to look cool? Yeah, that's right, we're breaking up. You're nothing but a clout chaser. Go get some self-esteem already. <laughs> Cool? Yeah, that's right. We're breaking up. You're nothing but a cloud chaser. Go get some self esteem already. <laughs> he came up like this with like a little bit of a Action. Poor girl. I wish I didn't have to break her heart like that. Young girl. <laughs> I'm putting makeup on him because I accidentally, accidentally <laughs> sucked him. Accidentally. He loved me though. They're putting makeup on our, on our man. Hold on, your ears. They tried to do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> they also tried to give me pink acrylics, which is not happening. Oh yeah, I told you. Guys, convince him to put pink acrylics on. Convince him. You have it? No. Okay, we're going to Next time, next Wait, time. Wait, I'm going to bring it to you. Unless you want to go, unless you want to go get it. Tomorrow, can I bring acrylic? No, my mom. No, you're not giving me acrylic. Yeah. This is the ice cream room. Yeah, it's literally right next to the locker room to the ice cream room. It's so And what, hap what happens in this room? What is this room? A lot of stuff. A lot of makeup. A lot of drama, let's just say that. And some tea that goes on. And some the best eating cup too. Nah, this is still the ice cream. Okay, basically. This is the booth. Tell us about this booth. This is the booth where all the, the drama happens, right? This booth, I... Noah has okay. sat here many, 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 many times. I don't know what to do. Monica can't be trusted. And I started a fight with Bailey in the hallway today. Yeah, uh, it sounds like more popular kid drama to me. Breaking up and making up with I, 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 You guys show me, give me an act out of Noah and uh, Monica scene. No, um, Willow and Lucas scene. Willow and Lucas scene. Listen, you don't have to explain it to me. Okay, I'm here for you. I don't know how to explain it. It feels like we've known each other for our whole lives. I'm never trying to guess what he's feeling or what he's wondering, if he's judging me or not. You just understand me, and when I'm with you, I just feel different. Like, I don't have to know if you don't like me. It's just, you just know. Oh, when um, Bailey and Andy were like- go. You're in. I'm Andy, right? Oh, when thrifting without me, Bailey? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we still like frenemies and stuff? I don't know. That was before I knew that dancing was a bunch of boyfriend stealers. That was before I knew the dancing was a bunch of boyfriend stealers. <laughs> Wait, what do you even mean? That's... Yo, bro, go give me another ice cream. Your man's hangry. Anyway, babe, go grab me a cone. Make it a double this time. Your man is hangry, right, guys? To yourself. Get on the ice cream. Where we walk when you storm out and get mad. This is where Angie basically goes every time she gets mad. Monica, how am I supposed to be your friend if you can't even keep one little secret? And hey, are you all right? Hey, are you all right? It's just, everyone knows now. It's this is this is where everyone has to have a talk when they have to get away from two people. the rest of the it's game. It's always a Me. two person talk. Mind if we step off for a second? I have been thinking about what you said about Darby. You will a friend of us. No, no, no. You're not saying a word about this to anyone. No, it's, it's always either me or Andy. This is where and Charlie and, and Willow me had to me have. Me and Charlie rub on glue. Oh, that's my another hurt line. Wait, hold on. Remember that Venmo I sent you this morning? Yeah. If we move too fast, they'll know it's cat. We gotta make it stick. 
Like come on, Robert. And then also with me and Lucas. Willow, my older sister who needs to take care of me because I almost got kidnapped. That you drop it off by my sidewalk right outside my house. Did you even pick up the flaming hot Cheetos? Who's she talking to? Seriously, take me with you, please. I'll be good, I won't embarrass you, I promise. I just want a corn dog, some fries, and maybe one of those stuffed animals you win throwing baseballs and stuff. Just you want to see a stupid boy, Lucas? Does Andy know about the kiss? Does Andy know about the kiss? Are you kidding me? You went through my journal too. Oh my God, did you find my journal too, you little twerp? What's that supposed to do? Not read it? Yeah, exactly, not read it. Hopefully the editor cut that out of the video. No, you're keeping it in. You'll get paid extra if you do. Next is the drama. Say hi, Seth. Guys, let's show Anissa's let's show locker. Let's see Anissa's locker. This is Casey's locker, not my Thanks a lot. No problem. I forgot the one. It felt line. good to get off yeah. my chest. Thanks a lot. No problem. It felt super good to get off my chest. <laughs> no smile, I'm just kind of like, what? I like it. We only did one scene in here. Yeah, it's my scene. Yeah, Principal Martin, I'm telling you, things have been really weird since Monica showed up. Good morning, guys. Here we have class today. And today, Here you all we go have class today. Today, I would like to go to the assembly room and watch a kitty cake. Okay. All right, guys. You want to be on the vlog? What is sure. your name? Rick. And tell, tell us the story about how you, how, you, how you ended up on the show today. Uh, I don't really know. It just happened. It just happened. She just came, like, our notice. And tell tell us about your character. Well, I'm on the dance team, and I'm a mean girl. Yeah, she's a mean girl. She's, like, she, name she's is so good at acting, and her name is Megan. Oh, hey, Willow. Well. Hi, Megan. It's Megan, folks. Megan, oh, yeah. Megan, not Megan. Megan. Yeah. First episode is when I walked in. And I was like, yeah, my I'm so excited. Yeah, sure, I can show her around. No, 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 I'm so excited to be here. Hi, we have a new student today. Class, I'd like to introduce you to Monica. Hi, Hi Monica. Monica. Hi, everyone, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> my name's episode three, when I was like, and if you tell one single soul, we had this conversation back here. If you tell one single soul, we had this conversation. I'm telling Mr. Jenkins you're back here saying weird stuff to me. Okay, yeah, I, I got it. I remember that line because it was so hard. I remember I, I said. All right, and so yeah, this is the last. This is the last day on the set yeah. of yeah. season one. <laughs> random new girl show up at our school today. Oh geez, where do I even start? Okay, sweetheart, I know we've been over this, but you're gonna have to try a little harder. This is the third school we've been through this year. Third time's the charm, right? You're gonna have to take this more serious. After this, it's wilderness camp for you. Mom, chill. 
I'm kidding. Everything's gonna go great. Sienna Purchase. Okay, who's learned about this before? Who is it between? So we have the US and who else? The French. Yes, John in the back. Hey, excuse me. Oh, hi, Principal Martin. Hi, we have a new student today. Class, I'd like to introduce you to Monica. Hi. Hi, Monica. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. Casey, Monica says she's going to try out for the cheer squad. Do you think you could maybe show her around? You're on the cheer squad, right? Yeah, sure. Right now? Sure, right now. Why don't you take this hall pass and make her feel at home? Okay, well, these are the lockers, obviously. The bathroom's over there. What's the boy situation like here? Boy situation? I mean, we definitely have boys here. What's up, Casey? Hi. That's what I was talking about. What's his name? Oh, that's Liam. He used to be my crush for a minute, but now he's Andy's crush. And of course, he doesn't know that yet. Yeah. But I'd stay away if I were you. You do not want to get on Andy's bad side. Okay, um, TMI. I just wanted to know the guy's name. Uh, can we go outside and get some air real quick? Sure. Okay, so this is where the little kids usually play during lunch. We usually hang out over there during lunch, or sometimes after cheer practice, the cafeteria is over there, the theater's there, and sometimes we have some of our pep rallies there. And it's really fun. Do you have any questions? Are you vaping? What, what do you think? You can't do that here. Wow. Take a chill pill. I'm not dumb. Of course I can't vape here. We're at school. That's why we came outside. Now that I think about it, this is actually the perfect place. Want a hit? No, I don't want a hit. That stuff can kill you. Are you trying to die or something? Whatever, I'll take my chances. I guess you're gonna run and tell Principal Martin now? No, just don't expect me to visit you in the hospital when it makes your lungs fall out. Awesome, I knew you were cool. Like. What do I even do in that situation? She's probably addicted and her brain's not even done growing yet. I don't need anything messing with my health or my grades. Wow, Monica, that deal starts this fire. I know, where'd you learn to score me like that? They have to let you on the team now. And you know, I picked up a few things on my own squad. Weird thing I'm getting ice cream after. Wanna come with? Ice cream? Sure, I gotta go check in with the principal's office real quick. But I'll see you there after school. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hi. Bye. 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 Whoa, you're a whole mood today, Casey. What's your deal? Oh, it's probably that weird music she keeps on listening to. She's like a goth. Or an emo. But you a goth or an emo, Casey. We have not either. It's just, doesn't it seem weird that Monica transferred here in the middle of a semester from the school that's only like 10 miles away? So what? People change schools all the time. Since when are you so sus about everything? Yeah, Monica seems pretty cool to me. You know you can be emo with still hot sports. I'm not emo. Just something seems off. You mean besides your bad talk? <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Turns out I totally sprained my ankle on that dismount, and we still won finals. Oh yeah? You ever dislocated your collarbone the first day of summit? That hurt so bad. And guess what? We still won. So don't even try to do it. Yo, Monica, I heard you killed it at tryouts today. Yeah, she did. Who wanna sit with us, Liam? You just got ice cream. Actually, I was hoping to talk to Casey. Me? Mind if we step off for a second? Sure. I was wondering, do you think your folks would be okay with us catching a movie? Um, maybe? You know what? You should definitely ask Andy. She's obsessed with movies and stuff. She'll totally be down to go. Bet. I mean, maybe we can all go? Maybe a group hangout thing? I can sit next to Andy if you want. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'll ask the girls and let you know. All right, I'll see you soon. See you. <laughs> Tell it to you already, Casey. He just wanted to see if I, I mean, if we wanted to go see a movie this weekend. Like, a group thing. Okay, but we're all sitting here already. Why would he just ask you? And in private? I don't know. You can ask him when we go hang out. I know he wanted to sit by you, Andy. Uh-huh. 
Don't do me any favors. Let's get out of here, Willow. <laughs> Bye, Monica. Wow, you're really making things spicy in here, Casey. Was Liam's number already? I don't have Liam's number. And I told you, I'm not even into him. I'm not into him over at least. And I'm looking for my homework. Have either of you seen it? Actually, I lost my bracelet and I've been looking for it all day. Now that I think of it, I haven't seen my earrings since cheer practice yesterday. Maybe the janitor threw them out. All right, come on. Let's go look before class starts. So, yeah. Hey, Casey. Blossom fan? Bro, how did you even manage before I showed up? Thanks. How did you get your hands on it exactly? Um, it was under the table when I was leaning last night. It must have fell out of my bag. There's some great answers in there, by the way. I learned a lot. You saw that. She basically just admitted to copying my homework. I'm not a tattletale, but I had to do something. Principal Martin, I'm telling you, things have been really weird since Monica showed up. All of our stuff goes randomly missing. I'm pretty sure she copied my homework, and now she's making me and Andy fight over Liam. Whoa, whoa, Casey stealing boy drama? Copying your homework? This is her first day, and this is how you're treating her? Look, I really didn't want her to get in trouble on her first day, but I saw her vaping on the playground. Vaping? That's a very serious accusation. And you know vaping and nicotine can kill you. One of our students was hospitalized just last year. Are you sure that's what you saw? Yeah, definitely. Okay, we'll look into it. But in the meantime, why don't you take her into your world? Why don't you invite her to one of your sleepovers with the other girls from the squad? A sleepover? Can you believe that? I would never. Especially if she's gonna smoke up the place. But that actually gave me a really good idea. A sleepover is the perfect place to show everyone how fake she is. Okay, never have I ever held a boy's hand at the movies. No. no. Monica? What? What? G guys, we might have done more than that, but what's the big deal? You didn't more than hold hands? What else is there to even do in a movie theater? Star, I think it's past your bedtime. <laughs> Better get off. You always give me out when things start getting good. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Sorry, ladies, but now that the baby's gone, let's stir up the tea. Who's going next? Casey, go for it. Never have I ever vape tobacco on the school playground in the middle of the morning. That stuff is terrible for you. Um, yeah. We need to keep our lungs in shape to cheer for the basketball team. Yeah, that stuff can totally ruin your life. Good job, Monica. Fine, new game. Truth or dare, Monica? Dare! No. Yeah, definitely truth. Have you ever stolen anything from a friend? I would never. Really? Then you've never copied anyone's homework either, or told my best friend's crush that I like them. Whoa, Casey, why are you being so extra lately? Yeah, you've been sus all week. Do you hate Monica or something? Guys, it's funny. Clearly she's not a fan. It's no big deal. You can't please everybody. You know what? Casey, maybe your mom should pick you up. You're making my guests feel uncomfortable. I'll go comment. So that totally blew up in my face. Now everyone thinks I'm the bad guy. How do I even come back from this? Like, I have no choice but to confront her at this point. Yeah, what do you need? Some cookies or something? Uh, no. Does Monica live here? I tried calling her, but she won't pick up her phone. Yeah, we had to take it from her. Uh, I'll get her for you. Monica! Monica! What do you want? Suspension not enough? Do you want me to get sent off to the wilderness camp now? Suspended for what? Principal Martin searched my backpack and found my vape, thanks to you. I probably saved your life. Vaping kills. Maybe I should tell your parents what else you've been up to, huh? Sure, go ahead. Do you hear that? My dad's busy being drunk and knocking things over. And good luck to you getting my mom out of bed. Oh, wow. Monica, I didn't know. Do you think anybody knows? Listen, I know him a lot, but now you see why. I've done some really messed up things this week, Casey. 
I stole from your friends. I told Liam some really messed up information, but I'm really, really sorry. Please don't tell anyone about this, and it won't ever happen again. It's fine. Promise, I won't tell anyone. Just forget it ever happened. See let's go tomorrow. Okay. really messed up things this week, Casey. And just please don't tell anyone about this. I guess what I learned is, sometimes in order to win, you've just gotta take it out. Hey, Andy. Um, I just came back from Monica's and I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. Yeah. Could I come over, like right now? Okay, see you soon. OMG, it's been so long since my last update. Things have been crazy since they made me cheer team captain. It is everything I thought it'd be, but also a lot harder than I expected. Andy Elaine, I swear, you make me late for work one more time, you are gonna take the bus to school for the rest of the year. I'm coming, I was just finishing my breakfast. That's breakfast? Those girls won't be able to lift you, much less throw you, you keep pigging out like that. Feels pretty good, right? Who's popular, queen of the whole school. Yeah, it's pretty great. I feel like it's all finally happening. Well, that's your first mistake, kiddo. Nothing is happening yet. Don't get too comfortable. There's a hundred girls at that school ready to steal your spot in a second. On the cheer squad? Those are my best friends. So really, the hundred kids that are following you around because you have something they want. Trust me, the minute you get an injury or gain a few extra pounds, those girls won't give you the time of day. If you say so, Mom, you're gonna be late for school. Oh, are you lost? Whatever, I was just grabbing my stuff. It's not like you guys own the locker room or anything. The locker rooms are for athletes. When you guys lend out wins and trophies and do something besides making TikToks, then maybe. Yeah, right. Dance is an art. It's not just flipping and screaming. We use stuff like tap, dance, ballet, hip hop. Nothing you airheads would know. Right. While you guys are having fun being artistic, we're doing gymnastics, acrobatics, and most importantly, we're cheering on a team. Yeah, there would literally be no school spirit in the press. Let me ask you this. If the dance team is so cool, then how come? None of you guys are popular. I'd love to see you try on one of our routines. But the thing is, dance is for people with rhythm and grace. Keep up the good work, though. You look so cute shaking your little pom poms. She is so... Seriously. All the dance team is, is rejects from the cheer squad. They are so pathetic. Hey, Nevin, have any of you guys seen Naruto? You mean the vape queen? Yeah. I hear she's off suspension. Hopefully she learned her lesson. It won't be easy, but I think I can get down the trick squad. Are you sure that's even a good idea? What's up, Andy? How was practice? Hey, Sue, we were talking to you? Yeah, I think you're the wrong in the hallway. All the clowns hang up by the janitor's closet. Whatever. Make her end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's like, hey, Andy, can you marry me? <laughs> Look, just leave me alone. I'm not the vape queen or some sort of troublemaker. It was just a misunderstanding, is all. Bruh, chill out. I'm not judging you. You got punished for it? It's in the past. Who cares? Really? Thanks. I'm kind of nervous about coming back. I really blew it with the cheer squad. You should stay away from them. They think they're so much better than everyone else. I follow you on TikTok. Your dancing is amazing. You follow me? Really? Yeah, me and the dance squad. We all love you dancing. You should totally join us. Are you sure? That would actually be really great. Girls, of course, I'm the captain. Now let's go talk to the coaches and get you ready for practice later. Oh, uh, sorry, I guess I better scram before your bodyguards attack. Forget about them. Popular kids are just weird. Don't take it personally. You're the only person in this whole school I can talk to who isn't trying to compete with me. Don't take it personally. 
We've been smooth selling all semester, and now I'm not even allowed to look at you while we're in school? I mean, yeah, why wouldn't I take that personally? I told you, it's just complicated. If people knew we were together, it would be even weird. Can we talk about this later? <laughs> right, of course. I mean, wouldn't want to blow your cover. I mean, the head cheerleader with the school misfit alone? Even worse, talking with each other? I've got better things to do anyway. No. Do you think I like keeping him a secret? Friends would do if they found out I was dating him. Trust me, I like him. I just wish I can make him understand. It's just better this way for now. Bertha, I've been looking for you. I talked to the cheer coach and she said you can be on the team. As long as you don't get in trouble again. Oh, thanks, Andy. I really appreciate that. But actually... Aren't you pumped to be on the cheer squad? Well, Payne offered me a spot on the dance team, and I said yes. But I don't know, maybe I'll have time to do both. Are you kidding me? The dance team is just some stupid club full of girls who can't tumble. It wasn't easy getting you on the cheer squad after what you did. I practically had to beg the coach. Andy, I'm sorry. I didn't know. We still have something in common, right? You're on chair, I'm on dance. Listen, Monica, I don't know how your old school worked, but cheer and dance don't mix. So have a blessed day. <laughs> Andy, I'm sorry. I didn't know. <sighs> Can you believe the nerve? Mr. Tobacco Breather comes into our school, lies to me, and stabs me in the back after I still try to help her? Th didn't I tell you that new girl was trouble? Yeah, you also told me not to judge a book by its cover. Okay, are you dumb? I'm literally talking about books. You know, the big heavy swear things that you leave lying all over here that you never pick up. I told you, I've been studying. My grades are almost A's now. Oh, good. You should enjoy it while you can. Because it's not going to matter how skinny you are or how good your report card is. Monica, Willow, Casey, and all the rest of those bobbleheads, they are getting ready to snatch your crown. You don't know that. They're the only friends I have. Okay. You let your guard down one too many times, those vultures are ready to pick your bones clean. Pick my bones clean? What does that even mean? Oh, hey, everyone. Here comes the prom queen. It's your friend's hero dance team. It's so pathetic. You have to go around selling my new recruits. <laughs> and they enforce her. Maybe being a raw, raw pick me girl isn't as cool as you thought. You guys, chill. Shut up, Faith Rella. This is between me and the TikTok team. Are you gonna do something besides throwing shade for once? Are you gonna do something besides blow your ass that cheap eyeliner? It's a burn. What? Are you gonna throw hands? Are you afraid you're gonna? Break a nail. Just step back, baby. You. you do not want to mess with me. Break it up, both of you. In my office, now. Andy, Bailey, this rivalry between the two of you has gone too far. She started it by stealing Monica. Steal? So you're so rich you own people now. <laughs> Girls, enough. I would suspend you both for a week for fighting. But we have games and pep rallies coming up and your team leads you. I'll make one exception. You will have one day of in-house suspension together. What? A whole day with her? I'd rather get expelled. Andy, would you like me to get your mother involved? Exactly. I didn't think so. Report back here tomorrow. You'll have plenty of time to sort this out between the two of you. My whole life is spiraling out of control right now. Everything is always so competitive. There's really only one person I could be myself around. The question is, is he even talking to me or did I mess that up too? I thought you'd peep her. Oh, careful there. Someone might see us. I mean, I wouldn't want your whole life crashing down just because you're talking to your own boyfriend. It how he is. I don't know what to do. Monica can't be trusted. And I started a fight with Bailey in the hallway today. Yeah, uh, it sounds like more popular kid drama to me. Let me know how that goes. Actually, don't. 
If you want someone sitting around listening to your problems, I suggest you get a therapist. I need you to acknowledge me as your boyfriend or for excluding me forever. So which is it? Noah, I just need some more time. You don't get it. It's complicated. Maybe you could try going to the basketball team or something? <laughs> yeah, right, like those jocks would ever let me in the gym. I'm sorry, Andy, I, I wish you good luck on everything. I gotta go. When I woke up yesterday, I was head cheerleader. I had a boyfriend and all the friends in the world. Now, I'm just some single girl with suspension tomorrow. Can it get any worse than this? Well, we gotta stop meeting like this. I'm sorry, <laughs> didn't you get the memo? Uh, watch out for the weird guy. What weird guy? I actually thought you were kind of cool. I wish I could pull off a style like that. It's different. Are you just making fun of me too? What? No. Honestly, I was just trying to shoot my shot with the handsome guy. But I guess I caught you at a bad time. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, you live in my neighborhood, right? Two doors down on the corner to the right? I guess we do live on the same street. All right, um, but you mind if I walk through? I thought you never asked. Hey guys, welcome to What's Up With Willow. Today we're going to talk about what a nightmare it is to be poor in a school full of rich girls. My friends live constantly on a diet full of Starbucks, going shopping anytime they feel sad about anything, and putting their school books in stupid Gucci bags. Meanwhile, I'm over here begging my dad for a pack of Skittles. I know you going to make that happen. Girls, before you head to class, I want to remind you that CheerCon is coming up. All of the squads across the country are gonna be there and I want you all to show up and represent. Willow, are you still coming? It doesn't look like I've gotten your registration money yet. Yeah, coach, um, I'll come through. All right, please keep me posted, okay? I would hate to see you left out. Speaking of absences today, Andy. In-house suspension? Really? I'm so sorry, coach. I don't know what came over me. The dance team is always provoking us. Step back, Lily. You do not want to mess with me. Well, fighting is never the answer. One more incident, and the dance team might be your only option. Casey, I'm nervous. Are they gonna like kick me off the squad if I don't go to Chircon? What? If I need to go, everyone's gonna be there. It's literally the biggest thing in the whole entire year. I mean, I asked my dad about the money a while ago, but he always says no to that kind of stuff. My dad does that to me all the time. Just start crying. He caves every single time. I mean, I definitely cried, but I guess I'll just have to ask him again today. Wait, Willow, what's up with your phone? Is everything okay? Yeah, I think it's just my little sister again. She just keeps on messing around. You better turn that thing off before you go to class. Miss Jenkins took my phone last semester and it took me months to get it back. Definitely. Hey, no, what's up? You look a little lost there. Hey, Monica, um, I'm good. I'm just uh, looking for Andy. She's sick today, or at least that's what she's telling everyone. You don't think she's sick? I mean, I heard she's avoiding this guy, but honestly, I can't keep up with all that cheer drama. Yeah, that, that tracks, though. Thanks. Maybe you'd like to get some ice cream after school? Seems like you could use a distraction. <laughs> Might as well. Okay. I mean, um, sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll meet you there. Okay. So like, how long are we actually gonna be stuck in this smelly old room? All day. The whole agonizing day. Could be worse, I guess. We could have had a whole week of this. Or you could have broken a nail. I did break a nail. Two, actually. Really? I'm sorry. Are you? Actually, yeah, I've never seen that design before. I was gonna ask where you got them from, but you know, we kind of hate each other. Sworn rivals, right? Yeah, to the death. Grr. As if my day weren't weird enough, some kid in class said something really weird to me today. So if one Bitcoin is worth $0 0.00283 dollars, then how many Bitcoin will we need for one dollar? 
I don't speak nerd, Charlie. But clearly you do. So just keep up on good work and work on the project. Okay, but this is a group project, remember? Yes, but I have more important problems to solve. Like how to get $200 to go to Chiffon. 200? Is that it? I spend that on Robux every week. And I love that for you. Really. I have an idea. I can get you like double that amount in just a week or two. Listen, Charlie, I don't want to know what kind of weird idea you have. She just finished the group project. Hear me out. I'll pay you $400 to pretend to be my girlfriend for two weeks. Just pretend. You would actually pay me for that? Why? What's the point? Look at me. I'm a nerd. But if I was dating a cheerleader, well, then I'd be a cool nerd. You know, like Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk. You think dating me would make you look cool? Not as cool as if I was with Andy, but yeah, totally. Why wouldn't it? Are you hearing this? Andy, the nerve of this kid. Like, I would ever. I don't know, Charlie. You're acting really weird. Just think about it. It's only two weeks. It's one week. It's a deal. Hold on, I'm not saying yes. I'll think about it. But if you tell one single soul you had this conversation, I'm telling Mr. Jenkins you're back here saying weird stuff to me. Okay, yeah, I, I got it. Are you serious? You actually said that to him? Well, I wrote it in a note and put it in his locker, but I know he read it because he never said a word to me again. That's so slight. I'm definitely stealing that. <laughs> Well, I guess we're back to being enemies again, huh? Yeah, I guess it's kinda sad. Competing with the cheer team is the only thing that's kept us motivated. Same with the cheer squad. If my team didn't hate you guys, who knows who we'd turn against? The chess club? How about this? If I roll my eyes at you in the hallway, that means I think your outfit is so slay. <laughs> Bet, and if I roast your kicks in front of everyone, that just means I have a pair exactly like them at home. <laughs> Let's be frenemies. Frenemies for sure. <laughs> oh look, it's the diva of detention. Mm, did you learn your lesson in time out? Are you kidding me? It was brutal. Let's just hope the potato princess doesn't make me a reminder who's boss around here. I'm so sick of that nonsense. Wow, what was it even like? <laughs> Are you kidding? She didn't say a single word to me the entire time. Wow, I can't even imagine you guys having an actual conversation. Willow, your phone is blowing up. Oh yeah, I had to turn it off during class. It's my little sister. She keeps on messing around. Actually, she's probably waiting for me to walk her home. I gotta go. Oh. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. I know you're wondering about this whole phone thing. It's not my sister. I don't know who it is. I'll get back to it later. I'm honestly still trying to figure it out. Hey, how was your day? You know, you're actually the first person to ask me that all week. You poor guy, you're so cool. And uh, honestly, so cute. I can't believe some other girl didn't get here first. Yeah, well, um, about that, it's, it's complicated. I know. You know what? Well, about Andy, I kind of accidentally overheard you guys yesterday. So, what, is this some kind of sneak attack against your stupid beef with the cheerleading squad? No, not even. Listen, I'm just trying to make friends. Well, it sounds like you could do a lot better than those basic brats. Sounds like you could do a lot better than Andy. I mean, if you were my guy, I'd want the whole school to know. Thanks. Hey, Star, so like, how much money do you have saved right now? Forget it, I have $23.47, and it's my whole life savings. You're not touching it. What, Star, she's your sister. Maybe you should loan her a little bit, with interest, obviously. I guess I can loan you 20, and at a 70% interest rate, so that would be $34 due in, say, two weeks, and if you don't pay up, I get your room. Sounds fair to me. Jeez, no way, forget it. It's not even close to $200 anyways. 200? Are you trying to buy a car or something? Hey, not those rich kids is twisting your brains. Hey, are you starting on the free lunch program? I'm a dream over here. Sorry, can you please tell your little boyfriend that we're not poor? 
We're at least middle class. He's not my boyfriend. He's cute, sure, but I'm too young for all that. Sorry, Tristan. Totally understandable. Middle class, lower middle class, call it whatever you want, sis, but we're definitely poor. Broke as a joke. Broke as a joke. Broke as a joke. Broke as a joke. Um, hey Dad, uh, I just wanted to talk to you about something. It's it's about the money for CheerCon. What's on your mind? I really want to go. It's the biggest event of the whole year, and if I don't go, I'm going to look like a total flake. Look, sweetie, I, I really understand how much this means to you. I do. After fixing the car, paying rent, I, I really don't think it's going to be able to happen this month. It's just... It seems so unfair sometimes. I just I just want to fit in and I want to do the things that my friends can do. There's a lot more important things than money and there are a lot more important things than fitting in, okay? Okay. Okay. I get it. I guess that's when I realized I am poor. My dad works really hard, but he doesn't make nearly as much money as my friends' dads do. But there are worse things than being poor, like those texts you were asking about. I don't take it that seriously. It's obviously somebody who doesn't have anything else better to do. But part of me wonders, why don't I just block them? I guess part of me just wonders if it's true. Like, am I a loser? My friends don't think so. My dad doesn't think so. And Charlie definitely doesn't think so. Hey guys, Monica here, and today I'm going to be spilling the tea on everybody. But let's start with the most important part of this story. Me. Guess who's got two thumbs and a brand new boyfriend? Oh, great. Hey, I had a really great time this weekend. Yeah, um, I had a good time too. You know, it's really refreshing to meet a girl who talk to me in public. Right. Speaking of that girl, have you seen Andy around yet? Um, actually, no, I haven't. It's not since last week. Uh, I mean, what's the point anyways? It's clear she made her decision. Well, it's almost time for class. You want to walk me to Hunger? Yeah. Well, so I ready to announce our romance to the world? Whoa. First of all, it's a fake romance. And second of all, you haven't even paid me yet. Where's my Buddha? I'll Venmo you the first 200 now. Get the rest after the big breakup. I... Is that what you're wearing? I can't do this to my friends like that. Like, what do you mean? This is nothing but drip. It's the most expensive thing I have in my closet. on. Lucky for you, I actually brought some backups. I brought clothes, and I brought hair products. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with this, but let's just get started. Just let them bounce like clothes. Come on. Finally. I don't know, Willow. This isn't my style. Maybe I should just go back to my normal clothes. <laughs> no, that is not happening. If your other clothes were so good, then why would you need my help? I didn't ask for fashion advice. That's really weird. What is it now? I mean, my phone's not blowing up like usual. Is that a bad thing? No, that's actually a really good thing. Come on, let's just get this whole thing over with. Hey guys, this is the new kid. Uh, his name's Chaz. I'm her boyfriend. What? Hold on, Rolo. What the heck? Since when did you have a boyfriend? I mean, it kind of happened yesterday. Uh, trust me, I'm just as confused as you are. I swear. Wait, wait. I don't know. You're the you're the guy who used to do my homework for me in the fourth grade. <gasps> oh no. Uh, you must have had him like confused with some sort of like nerd. Uh, this is Chaz. He is the coolest. Wait, so Josh, you're having a birthday party next week, right? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, you should totally invite him. He's so cool. He's amazing at parties. Sure, you can come if you want. My mom doesn't want me to go to parties. <gasps> Chaz, you want to be popular, right? O N G. What the heck is this? Oh, hi, Andy. This is my friend, Noah. Nice to meet you, Andy. Is this supposed to be some kind of joke? Oh, do you guys know each other? 
Uh, we've seen each other around, but uh, I don't think we actually really talked in public. I see what this is. Fine. Looks like I have two new people on my dad's side. He did it. I think she took that pretty well. You think? You know, Casey told me when I first got here. You do not want to get on Andy's bad side. I guess I'm about to find out what that's like. I've been... Andy! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, it's Glow. Is everything okay? No, stupid Monica. She's in the absolute worst since she got here. What did she do this time? Seems like she's minding her own business with that new guy. That new guy? It's my ex-boyfriend. Wait, you and Noah were a thing? Since when? Since the other day. Okay? Loki, am I the only person in this room that doesn't have a secret boyfriend? I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. I didn't tell anyone. I kept this whole thing a secret. I was worried people are gonna be mean to him since he's not a popular kid. I mean, I definitely didn't think he was your type, but that 90s bad boy thing is kind of cute. Yeah, he is different, but we're your friends. Well, like whoever you date. It doesn't even matter anymore. I miss the whole thing. Oh, now they're high key trying to rub it in my face, walking down to school all lovey dovey. I'm gonna make them pay. Oh, Annie, you need to cool down. You know, if you guys were trying to keep it a secret, then how would Monica even know you guys were a thing? She seems kind of innocent for once. That's her whole thing, Miss Innocent Monica. I don't know how she knew, and I don't care. But the whole dance team is going down. Andy. Can I get a strawberry milkshake, please? Sorry. Oh, hey, Nelly, I dig the new nails. Hey, Bailey, I dig the new sneaks. Did you get thrifting without me? Oh, whoa, wait, we're still like frenemies, right? That was before. I knew the dance team was a bunch of boyfriend stealers. <laughs> Wait, what do you even mean? That you guys think you're so much better than us. How about we compete? Cheer versus dance. You learn our routine, and we'll learn your stupid baby TikTok dances. The loser, you, has to post a reel every day, seeing how great we are for the rest of the semester. You mean how you're going to be posting how great we are? <laughs> okay. Emo! School gym next Saturday. Look at the coaches to judge. And that's when I hopped out of my dad's test. I'm like, you want to throw hands, bro? Come at me. <laughs> anyway, babe, go grab me a cone. Make it a double this time. Your man is hangry, right, guys? To yourself. It would be nice if my girlfriend could get it for me and keep the change. All 400. Fine, whatever. I did not sign up for all this mess. Wait, Willow, is that you? Lucas, really? Oh my gosh, I'm a senior since summer camp. Wait, do you go to Jerusalem Junior High? Yeah, wait, do you? Yeah, I'm starting tomorrow. Gosh, I never thought I'd see you again. Yeah, same. I mean, I never thought I'd see you. I've really just been thinking about you, you know, ever since summer camp. Yeah, same, um. I have an idea. Want to come be my friends? Sure. Stop. Hey guys, this is Lucas. Uh, we met at summer camp and he's starting school tomorrow. Hey man, thanks Jess. What else my bet? Wait, what? You have a boyfriend? I... I... I, I do, I guess. We're in love. NBD. Great to meet you, dog. Lucas, what are you doing here? My parents just moved up. I guess we go to the same school now. Good seeing you again. Great. This day just keeps getting better. Wait, but how do you two know each other? He's the ex-boyfriend I told you about. So if you didn't know about the girl code, well, first, there's a girl code. And the first rule of girl code is you do not date your best friend's ex-boyfriend. And you definitely do not kiss him at summer camp, even if you didn't know. Okay, Arcade at my house? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm down. Are you gonna have right. a sleepover? Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's go. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Well, looks like our friends jumped on the chess wagon faster than we thought. I know, right? I sat at the cool kids table and everything. Cool nerd, unlocked. You know, so you can basically say I came through for you on like day one, right? Yeah, I mean, by the end of the week, I might just be the most popular kid in school. You know what? I think you're like already there. 
You're basically everyone's favorite. You should just dump me, like, tomorrow. Kick me to the curb in front of everyone. Have this huge breakup, and then all the girls will be lining up for you, like, wanting you to replace me. Wait, hold on. Remember that Venmo I sent you this morning? Yeah? It would move too fast. They'll know it's cat. We gotta make it stick. Like glue on rubber. I know what you're thinking. Why is Monica always lurking on everyone's discussion? I swear, I'm not nosy. I'm just kind of always in the wrong place at the right time. Also, where has Casey been in all of this? Hey, hey, whoa, kneel before our queen. Excuse me? Weren't expecting rolling up on the school royalty. Where's the squad at, Queen Bee? Me? Queen Bee? Hardly. The squad is all busy dealing with boy drama today. What else would they be doing, right, Darby? <laughs> oh, oh, Joe, Joe! She's one of those Dreamstone cheer girls! <laughs> nice! Don't you got like a pep rally to go to? We only have those on days of the game. Wouldn't you know that at Valley Village? You don't really keep up with sports. No. But hey, it's not like we're missing anything exciting. <laughs> Well, listen, we're heading to band practice. You should come with it. That sounds like a blast. You guys have fun. Come on, I bet you got a killer scream. <laughs> I cheer. That's kind of what we do. Come on, we're harmless. Look, if you hate it, you can leave. Whatever. Like my mom always says, yellow. I definitely could burn off some steam. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Oh my gosh, Noah, I have so much tea, it's practically spilling out of me. Uh, yeah, no, it's some more of a coffee guy. So listen, I swear I wasn't eavesdropping, but I think Charlie Gordon is paying Willow to pretend they're dating. And it's actually none of our business, did you ever think about that? No, no, you don't understand. Andy is attacking everyone right now. This is valuable information! Hallie little who, Monica? Look, this whole soap opera revenge saga, it's really not my thing, okay? I... I gotta go. She doesn't even get it. Willow was breaking the girl code, Casey just ran off with a bunch of smelly boys, Annie is out to get everyone right now, Charlie and basically blackmailing cheerleaders, and I... haven't even told you guys the really bad part yet. Is this even on? Oh, hey, hello, I guess it is on. Um, Willow left her phone at home, so this is the star show now, where we talk about me, and I've never done big kid stuff Willow and her cheerleader friends are up to right now. Listen guys, I'm not gonna make it tonight. What? My, my dad has a date, and I'm gonna have to babysit my little sister star again. You haven't been to the pier with us this whole year. Yeah. We're gonna eat corn dogs, go on roller coasters, and talk to boys all night. It's totally your vibe. Casey, I know it's my vibe. You're just making it worse. What do you usually do when you babysit Star? We usually just watch a movie and she falls asleep. Exactly. Then you end up Snapchatting us all night, wishing you I'd came with. Yeah, I mean, I guess. If you just wait till Star falls asleep and hang out with us for like an hour, will anyone really notice? <sighs> yeah, right, guys. No way. If anyone finds out, I'm going to be in so much trouble. As long as you're back before your dad gets home, he'll never find out. I mean, I guess you're right. All right, guys, listen up. I'm going to head out for the night, OK? OK. You know the rules. You do not leave this house. 9 PM bedtime for you, Star, OK? <sighs> if there's any emergencies, you better call me. And I left money on the counter so you can order pizza, okay? Ooh, Y'all yeah. behave yourself, okay? Okay. okay. Alright, love you guys. Bye. Love you, bye. So my dad's been going on tons of dates lately, which is good for him, I guess, but even better for me and Willow, because it's the perfect chance to stay up late, we can eat popcorn, we can eat pizza, we can do arts and crafts, and literally just, like, whatever we want. Yeah! We have the whole house to ourselves! What are we gonna do first? Are we gonna bring it to this hair? We can eat pizza, arts and crafts. We can have a ball fight! I was actually thinking we could have like a low-key big girl chill night, you know? Big girl chill? What's that? 
Well, so basically, we'll just take a shower, eat some pizza, and then go to bed. No way. That sounds like a school night. No, thank you. Just order that pizza already. I'm hungry. How about this? We'll make a deal. I'll give you all the pizza money that Dad left on the counter if you go to bed and don't come out until I get home. Oh, I'm not dumb. What are you up to? Let me guess. You're going to meet up with Casey and Andy. Are they outside? Oh, they're not outside, Star. But that's why I have to go, because they're waiting for me. I knew it. What are you going to do? Where are you going? Somewhere super cool like Santa Monica Pier? Well, yeah, actually, but... The pier? Seriously? Take me with you, please. I'll be good. I won't embarrass you. I promise. I just want a corn dog, some fries, and maybe one of those stuffed animals you win throwing baseballs and stuff. Or, you know what? You can just stay here in bed until I get back, and then after, we'll do anything we want. And? I'll get you a stupid corn dog. And? Some lousy french fries. And? You better believe I'm not going to waste my whole night trying to win some stupid stuffed animal for you. Take it or leave it. I'll take it, but you better come through with your promise. Thank you, fellas. I will. I said I would. Okay, um, I gotta get ready. Oh! Hey, you got to put some wool out. Yeah? Is everything going okay? I have to take care. <laughs> Wouldn't it be night care? What is night care? Never mind. She's coming out. Yes! <laughs> this is gonna be the best night ever. You're taking forever with this hair thing though. My Uber's almost here, okay? I'm not getting an Uber. It's not that great. But seriously, do not use the phone unless you're calling me, alright? Remember, stay in bed and lock the door. Do I that. know, I know. You owe me for this. It's my Friday night too, you know. Yes, I know. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. She thinks she's gonna go out and do all the fun stuff without me while I just lay here and stare at the ceiling? Yeah, right. When is she coming? Not for long. I said a stupid alarm. I'll have to go soon. <laughs> it's fine. We got you. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Do you guys realize this is the first time in my whole life I've been completely unsupervised? Things are gonna get crazy tonight. Wait. Hey. Is that your friend Lucas from the other day? Oh yeah, it is. Come oh. on. Oh, ex-boyfriend on it. Let's walk this way. Yeah. Maybe he won't see us. Hey, Casey! Whoa, Andy, wait up! Hey, what's up? Oh, All right, guys. So apparently, Willow just needs her journal open on her laptop for, like, anyone to read. So am I supposed to do is not read it? I'm just getting started, and there's already so much tea. So first off, Willow kissed some boy named Lucas at summer camp last year, and she was all sad because she'd never see him again because he lived so far away. It literally says she wishes he was her boyfriend. And now he's starting at her school this week. Whoa, but listen to this. Lucas was Andy's boyfriend in fifth grade. And she can't be his girlfriend because of the girl code. What's the girl code? It's getting pretty late. Yeah, I'm gonna go call my Uber. Yeah, honestly, we should probably get back too. Yeah. Wait here. I'm running to the bathroom real quick. Bye. I'm coming too. Okay. Oh, hey, no way. Whoa. Is that a chat site? I've wanted to do one of these my whole life. What does it say? Let's see. Uh. What's taking them so long? I don't know. Um, listen, I, I really have to go, but it's really loud. Can we talk over there where it's more quiet? Uh, sure. Come on. So. so, you know, like when we um, kissed over camp that summer? Yeah, I was starting to think you forgot about that. Um, you know how we said if we ever lived in the same town, we would be boyfriend and girlfriend? 
Yeah, finally. But we can't. I mean, why? Because I didn't know about you and Andy. There's like a code called the girl code. I thought Willow has to get back to babysitting Star. Oh my god. No. What's girl code? Hey! What exactly are you guys doing down here? Um, we just needed a quieter place to talk. And dark. How convenient. Shouldn't you be home babysitting your sister right now, Willow? Shoot, yeah, guys, I have to go call my Cooper. What? Okay, so forget Willow and her stupid corn dog. This nice lady on the chat side is bringing me a ginormous pizza, a whole entire bag of flaming hot Cheetos, and a cake. A whole cake. This is awesome. Let's go. Start answer. I thought that might be you. What a cutie. Uh, thanks, but where's my pizza? Hop in, it's, uh, it's up the street. It's like a whole cake, a whole birthday party. No, you said that you'd drop it off by my sidewalk right outside my house. Did you even pick up the Flaming Hot Cheetos? Who's she talking to? Star, Star. Get away, you creep. I'm calling the police. Star, what are you doing here? Are you kidding me? You didn't listen to anything I said. Oh, come on. Where's my corn dog? And what about the fries? You just broke a pancake promise, didn't you? Are you kidding me? Where did you even meet that man? Your laptop. You went into my laptop? Well, of course I did. You were the one who let me here completely unsupervised. Did you go to see your little sweet boy, Lucas? Wait, seriously though? Does Andy know about the kiss? Are you kidding me? You went through my journal too! Well, duh. What else was I supposed to do? Not read it? I swear I'm just gonna... <sighs> Something really bad could have happened to you. You can't go around just meeting random strangers like that. I didn't say I was gonna go anywhere with him. He was just bringing me a pizza. It doesn't matter. The internet is full of bad people who can do bad things to you. A stranger is a stranger. And who do we never talk to? Strangers. That's that. Get a bed. Get a bed. Right, right, right. Go, go, go. Shh. Ow! You're fine. Good night. Love you. Andy, come on. My mom's waiting. I had a great time with you guys tonight. See you guys at school on Monday, I guess. You know, Willow wasn't the only one who missed you. You know what? I feel like it's got to be like fate or something, you know? Us ended up at the same school after all this time. You literally said we were wrong for each other and then you dumped me. Yeah, forever ago. We were like babies back then. I bet you don't even know my number anymore. Here. Bye. Wow, it's been so long since my last update. I've been so caught up in everyone else's drama, I haven't had time to complain about my own. Oh yeah, did I mention that my parents are getting divorced? It was just like that scene in every movie where a kid's parents tell them that they're getting a divorce. We still love each other very much. We still love you very much. We'll still see each other all the time, just not together. But it's obviously way more surreal when it's actually happening to you. Honestly, I don't know how to feel. I guess it's better than listening to them fight every night. Chaz is so cringe. I can barely stand it. Noah is way too smart for that pick me girl. What does she even talk to him about? It could be a lot worse, I guess. Look at them over there. Who do they even think they are? What is their shit maybe them? Moa? Nautica? Guys, tell me if you see Char Chaz. I'm really trying to avoid him. I mean, Darby and Joe both have divorced parents. They could definitely give me some advice. Does anyone know why Monica got kicked out of her old school? No, at least it's almost over. It's been about a week, right? I, I just, just don't know what, what to do. do. Are you guys even listening to me? Yeah! Um, Monica, right, Andy? Yeah, and Noah. Yeah, that whole thing. Whole it's thing. just so totally, yeah. it's like not okay at all. Oh. Exactly! 
I guess we haven't really been the best at listening to each other lately. Andy's obsessed with her whole love triangle, and I don't understand this Willow and Charlie thing at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure that she still has a thing for Lucas. I don't even want to go there. Darby and Joe are just so much easier to talk to these days. Divorce ain't so bad. To birthday parties, to Christmases. Heck, my stepmom is way more chill than my real mom. Yeah, but your stepdad kinda sucks. Yeah, he's the worst. Oh geez, I'm nowhere near ready to start thinking about step parents. Yeah, just wait. They're gonna start bringing home their dates and everything. Dating? No, 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 no. I am not ready for that. See? They're like the total opposite of Andy and Willow. There is no way I was ever going to introduce them until it accidentally happened. Casey! There you are. We thought you were gonna miss the bus. Casey, don't freak out, but there are two guys who want to get behind you. Those are my friends, Darby and Joe. I'm sorry, what are they? What's up? We've heard so much about you. I feel like I'm at like a pep rally or something, uh, do a dance or something. Excuse me? I can't, I feel like my school spirit just leveled up to like level 10. Go, fight, win, yeah! See what I mean? That was a total nightmare. Oh, uh, how did those freaks find you? Did they escape from a zoo or something? I know, they're wearing black. It looks like they're going to a funeral. Wait, are they coming from a funeral? No, they're in a band. That's what they wear every day. They go to a funeral every day? I'm so creeped out right now. Suddenly, I spot the enemy sliding down a hill towards me. I pulled out my shotgun and BAM! Headshot. One down, two to go. Little storm was closing in. Hey Chaz, that shirt's a vibe. Oh, it's all like, did you guys see that? Ever since I started dating a cheerleader, all the chicks have been talking to me now. Oh yeah, how was you and Willow anyways? To be honest, I'm not really feeling it bro. I could totally do better. Really? <laughs> what? Better than Willow? Are you serious? Yeah, dude, totally. Hey Charlie, I couldn't see you at the arcade Saturday. Where have you been? <laughs> What did I tell you? You can't come up to me when I'm kicking it with my boys. Beat it! I'll catch you after school. What a jerk. Anyways, like I was saying, I had to squat up with some randos in a top 10 situation. Bullets were flying everywhere. Dang, dude. Hey, here comes Willow. What's up, guys? It's popping. Hey, can I talk to you? Today's a big day. You ready? Big day for what? You know, the big breakup scene. In front of everyone? I thought we were gonna like just tell people that we broke up. Maybe send out texts or something? No, 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 no. We gotta do it in front of everyone. You said it yourself. Kick me to the curb in front of everyone, have this huge breakup, and then all the girls would be lining up for you, begging you to replace me. Well, we gotta do it right. Uh, listen, I, I, I don't hey. think. Don't worry about it, okay? Just follow my lead. I got this. Whatever. So, Chaz, what do you want to talk about? What do you mean? You know, the thing that you wanted everyone to know. You guys, seriously, this girl's so extra. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Always with the apologies. You know, I'm sick of this. I honestly think the only reason you wanted to be my girlfriend is to look cool. Excuse me, I wanted to look cool? Yeah, that's right, we're breaking up. You're nothing but a cloud chaser. Go get some self-esteem already. Poor girl. I wish I didn't have to break her heart like that. Young love, it's different, you know? You're a savage. Wow, just when I think the drama is a lot, Willow is coming in hot with the most epic tea of the year. Oh my gosh, that was insane. I got the whole thing on video. What's the point? I mean, are you actually going to watch that later? You just don't get it. There's something seriously sus going on here. And I try to tell you, it isn't any of your business. Please don't tell me you're actually going to send that to anyone. Everyone's going to be talking about it anyway. Why are you always so serious about this stuff? Lucky for you, I'm not going to make a huge scene out of it like Chaz over there. But I need to be straight up with you. This isn't working out. Wait, I'm sorry. I'll delete it. Uh, Monica, look, you're really cool, but you don't have to prove yourself to anyone. I mean, just try being yourself. And maybe call me sometime when you figure out who that is. 
something to tell you. What now? I broke girl code and I kissed Lucas at summer camp last summer, but I promise I didn't even know you guys knew each other. Girl, just calm down. You didn't break girl code. You didn't even know. I know, but it's just messed up and I want to do things right. Sam, I gave him my phone number at the pier last night. What? And I don't even know why. Jealousy, I guess. Well, I understand. You know, it's probably just best if we all stay friends. Yeah, that's probably best. Let's just all be friends. Deal? Deal. Let's go to my house. Yeah. Wait, uh, Casey, are you coming? Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later. Oh, oh, oh bye. bye. Bye, bye. Casey, can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah, what's up? Well, some of your teachers have reached out to me and they said your grades have been slipping. I just wanted to check in. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. Honestly, I've just been a little distracted lately. My parents are getting divorced and things have been a little dramatic with my friends lately. Divorce is hard. I know all about it. I was about your age when my parents got divorced too, so if you ever need someone, I'm here for you. Thanks, Coach. I'll definitely keep it in mind. Listen. You cannot let this craziness with your friends distract you from what's important. I shouldn't have to remind you that if you fail school, I can't keep you on the cheer squad. Yeah, I know. I promise I'll try harder. Okay. I was hoping that no one would notice that I haven't exactly been doing my homework. I know it would catch up to me sooner or later. Hey, and you told me you'd be here. I just wanted to check in with you. Yeah, I just wanted some alone time. You know, you did not deserve that. Thanks, but that's no big deal. Honestly, you know, I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't kind of happy that you're single now. <laughs> that's sweet, but I kind of told Andy all about us. Wait, what? She's gonna murder me now. No, trust me, it's fine. But I also told her that it's better if we stay friends for a little bit. All right, the girl code. Yeah, but it's not that bad, right? Hold on. What is it? Oh, no. <laughs> you don't want to see this. Listen, after today, I can see anything. It doesn't matter. You're nothing but a cloud chaser. Go get some self esteem art. Go get some self esteem art. Go get some self esteem art. Things have been crazy since my last update. You know Stranger Things when Eleven goes into the upside down? Well, that's what it felt like when I saw Lucas again. I don't even know. It felt like I was in a whole different world. Like a dream? I don't even know what's real anymore. Andy, come on. Your breakfast is getting cold. Please, you need to eat something before school. I'm not hungry, Mom. I'm still full from so much I did her last night. Remember? No, I don't remember. I was right there and you didn't need anything. Now come on, have something to eat because you're gonna make us late. Okay, so I couldn't help it over here. Lucas is back? That boy from your old school? Not that it's any of your business, but yeah. He kinda just showed up out of nowhere. He goes to Dreamstone now. You know, Willow likes him too. But we agreed we'd all be friends. Wow, sisters before misters. I like it. You're a good friend. Yeah, I guess. And uh, what about that other boy you were stringing along? Noah? What happened to him? Monica happened. Oh, classic Monica. Didn't I tell you she was out to steal your place? <laughs> yeah, well, he dumped her already. So, it goes to show you know what you know. Well, there you go. When a door closes, a window opens. What's that supposed to mean? It means he's single again, you dits. Now go work your magic. What magic? Oh, honey. 
you are the most pretty, most popular girl at school. You can have anyone you want. I'm talking about your confidence, kid. That's your magic. Is this like reverse reality day or something? Or is my mom actually dropping some real wisdom for once? Normally she's like, I'm to this or I'm to that. She actually helped me today. Something. Oh, um, thanks. I heard about you and Monica. Are you okay? Word travels fast, huh? No, I'm with it. No, I'm doing just fine. Thanks. I figured maybe now we could talk. I think we were gonna talk before you guys. Well, it looks like you guys didn't waste any time. <laughs> Trust me, it's not what it looks like. Still salty you got voted off the island, Monica? You got dumped. Get over it and move on. Whoa, did I interrupt your little pity party with my ex-boyfriend? You know, you two actually have a lot more in common than you think. You guys are just too busy competing with each other to see it. I'm competing with her? Please, competition's for contenders, not pretenders. <laughs> yeah, right. You've been trying to keep up with me since I got here. Not, but see what I mean? If you guys just learn to have basic respect for each other, then maybe we can all be friends someday. I'm still trying to wrap my head around what he said. Like me and Monica have something in common? Seriously. But what if being her friend is the only shot I have at talking to Noah again? This is like some kind of twisted puzzle. Hey! Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah, I mean, it could be worse. I'm really happy we have the same homeroom. Yeah, I'm super excited. Do you maybe want to get like ice cream later after school in Honestly, I've been really wanting to hit up the mall, so maybe we can get like some new clothes. Yes, of course. Um, can Andy come too? He, yeah, I guess. Sorry, I should have asked if you had plans. No, we don't. It, it just, I, I, it's better if we include her. For now, at least, you know? Alright, that's cool. I'll walk you to class. Okay, class. There's the problem. You guys have a few minutes to quickly partner up and solve this problem. I'm giving you guys 15 minutes to figure out the answer. Hey, Monica. Let's do this. Um, are you sure you want to partner with me? I was thinking about what Noah said. You know, about you and me having stuff in common. What do you think? Honestly, you tell me, Andy. I've been trying to be your friend since I got here, but you're always getting mad at me. Yeah, that's fair. My temper can be a little extra sometimes, but I'm working on it. Well, I've never had a problem with you. It sucks we like the same guy, but honestly, he's not my type anyway. He's so into politics and boring old movies. Facts. <laughs> this is so dumb. We gotta go, Monica. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so spot on. What about Casey and Willow? I'm sure they definitely still hate me. Let me worry about them. It's fine. Okay, I just seriously thought this through. I even made a pro and con list whether I should stay her enemy or become her friend. But after going through it, it seems like keeping up the fight just doesn't add up anymore. You've got to be kidding me. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Seriously, after all the drama she's caused while she's been here, similarly you two are besties now? Noah said he's not talking to me until Monica and I work things out. Besides, he's not all that great anyway. Sisters before misters, right? We wouldn't know. You never actually let us meet him, remember? Exactly. Just trust me, I'm calling off this whole thing with the dance squad. Oh, so now we're supposed to be cool with the dance squad. Great to know. I figured Casey and Willow wouldn't get it, but maybe they'll come around. I never thought taking the high road would be my thing, but maybe it's time for a new Andy. Uh-oh, someone start filming. Looks like another brawl is about to happen. Stand down, Bailey. I'm not here to cause problems. That hits different. What do you want? I was in a really bad place when I killed you at the ice cream shop. We can call this whole thing off if you want. You guys hear that? Little Miss Perfect lost her temper the other day, and now she's scared she's gonna lose. Hold on. I'm saving you a lot of embarrassment by offering you this way out. There's no way you could get through a whole cheer routine. You know Josh? He just joined the dance team the other day. Uh, excuse me. No offense, Josh, but I've seen you dance, and it's cringe. His moves definitely need some work. 
but he's a great base and an even better back spot. He can throw Monica like 10 feet in the air. This is getting ridiculous. You guys are gonna get hurt tossing each other around like little kids. If you wanna forfeit, we accept. But you know the consequences. You and your little squad have to be posting about us all semester. And I'm living for it. <laughs> you know, I take back my apology. If I were you, Josh, I would start skipping dance lessons and hitting the gym. You're gonna need way bigger arms if you're gonna start tossing around these squishmallows. <laughs> well, that was a terrible idea. Actually, never mind. The old Andy is staying. I should have listened to Casey and Willow. So Andy's just like cool with everyone now? Yeah, it's like she's a whole different person today. Well, maybe that's a good thing, you know? And maybe she won't be as mad about like other things. Yeah. Hey, besties! Hi. Hi, we were waiting for you. I'm so glad you invited me out. I really needed a distraction today. Uh, listen, I got extra ice cream also. <laughs> no, I've been eating like a whole day. I'm like super full. Have you guys talked to Casey? I thought she was supposed to be coming. No, actually, where has she been? Well, she basically ran away and joined the circus. I'll call her right now. If we're all supposed to be friends, then why do I feel like it's third wheel right now? My Hero Academia is a must watch. It has superpowers, high school drama. It's the ultimate combo. Who cares for drama? High IQ is where it's at. I'm gonna have to sign on Casey with this one. Yeah, isn't High IQ about volleyball? I thought you hated sports. It's not just about volleyball. High IQ dives deep into the characters' minds. You see their fears, their determination. It's a complex. You wouldn't get it. Are you saying because I'm a girl, I wouldn't get how complex High IQ is? Whoa, Dar, are you really insulting this beautiful, intelligent woman right now? I want to give up. Clearly, Joe is biased on this one. Oh, guys, I gotta go. I'm staying at my dad's house this week. I'm gonna get grounded if I don't go, like, right now. Oh, snap. Hope we're not a bad influence. I don't want to turn the cheerleader into a savage over here. Don't worry, Monica's the savage. I don't care what Andy says. Vaping at school, stealing boyfriends, copying homework. She's the real savage. We used to know Monica like that. Ain't that right, Joe? Monica Jones? More like we knew her. And I haven't seen her since she got kicked out of school. Wait, you guys know Monica? Wild, yeah. Looks like she's up to the same old steez. Wait, then you guys know how she got kicked out of school? Yeah, of course. Don't you know? Dad's not even here. What's the point of family dinner if the family's not actually eating dinner? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. He's running late again today. Honey, eat your dinner and you haven't even touched it. Oh. I have to get this. I'll be right back. Hey, now we got perfect. I was just trying to get out of dinner with my mom. So, Willow and Casey might need more time, but I don't know We're about Bailey. Maybe you can talk to her. Maybe I should let you go so you can go eat. What are you, my mom? It's fine. Andy. I can see your stomach growling all through class today. I know it's none of my business, but I've seen you in the cafeteria. You would never bring lunch to school. It's none of your business, Monica. I do me, you do you. I've been trying to be friends with you, but you keep sticking your nose in my business. I used to do all the same stuff. I know what an eating disorder looks like, and I'm just worried about you. You know what? I've been putting in an effort to become your friend, but whatever. You're just a liar, and now I see why Noah broke up with you. Sweetie, what's going on? Who are you yelling at? <laughs> it's nothing. I'm just not feeling super well. Okay, well, see ya, finish your dinner. Maybe you'll feel better. I'm gonna go to bed late tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, Andy, honey, please, please, help, help somebody. Hey guys, welcome back to What's Up With Willow. This might be the most epic tea I've ever spilled on my vlog before. So, you guys know those really mean texts I've been getting? Get some self-esteem art. Oh, get some self-esteem art. And like, how they suddenly just stopped. I mean, my phone's not blowing up like usual. Is that a bad thing? Am I delusional? 
Or do you think that Charlie was the one who's been bullying me this whole time? Well, spill the tea, sis. What do you guys do next? Punch him in the throat? Are you gonna put hot sauce up his nose? Please, can you let me handle him? Please, please, can no, I? No, start. Stop looking outside my room. This is like the fifth time I've tried to film this. This house is so small and you're so, so loud and I don't know what else to do. Turn around, forget what you heard, and leave. Uh, no, you need to tell me what happens because no one ever tells me anything. No, what's the point? You're just gonna read it as soon as you get your little grubby hands in my journal anyways. No, not since you changed the password, but please. No. Please, please, can you just give me the new one? No, star. No. Please. Trust me, I wish I could just let my little sister take care of all of this. Me and my friends haven't really been the closest recently. I hope I can still count on them for this one. Where is he? I'm gonna shove that nerd so far up his locker, it's gonna take a full year to dig him out! Whoa, whoa, Andy, please chill. Are we 100% sure it's Charlie sending these? I mean, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty obvious. Unless you think it could be somebody else? Of course it's him! It's right there in the text! I just want to make sure we're not going after the wrong person. Why don't we just talk to Principal Martin about this? Principal Martin? Really? What? So she can ask him if he did it and he can say no and get away with everything? Boys never get in trouble for this kind of stuff. If we want justice, we gotta handle it ourselves! No way. Last night's Roblox game was crazy. Explosions, boss fights. I jumped off a cliff and annihilated those noobs. The chat was going wild. Victory Royal vibes, you know? Hey, Charlie. Oh, hey, girls. And it's Chaz, by the way, but what can I do? <laughs> do these messages to Willow look familiar to you? Oh my god, that's, that's horrible. Are you being bullied? Oh, I can't believe this. Stop capping, you psycho simp. We know it was you. What do you mean? Check my phone, it's clear. He was, I don't know, maybe he's telling the truth. You know what? Come here. What? What was that? Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't hear anything. It's, it's probably just a scoop. I knew it! I knew it, I knew it. You are so busted. Ladies, get ready to cancel this pathetic piece of garbage. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, I just... You just what? Had to harass me for months. Why do you even want to date me if you're just gonna say all those mean things to me? I I'm sorry. I I'm weird. I have problems, okay? I I'll apologize. To everyone. What? Charlie? No. Charlie Bates. Everyone! I have a confession. I sent some really messed up messages. Like a lot. I just really liked her and I didn't know how to get her attention. I also paid her $400 to pretend to be my girlfriend. I'm really sorry and I just wanted to be cool and have some friends. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. And that's when my heart dropped, like into my stomach. You know, like when you feel like you're gonna throw up. I mean, did he actually have to say that in front of everybody? Was that really unnecessary? Wait, Willow, what is he talking about? He paid you to be his girlfriend? No, it was, it was pretend. It was a prank, you know? Wait, he paid you to lie to us and you took the money? I wouldn't say it like that, but I mean. Then how would you say it, Willow? It's your call was coming up and I had to, I. I look around and I just see my classmates and my friends and I feel like they're just alternating against me at the same time, right then and there. And then I just keep on shrinking and I feel tinier and tinier until I don't think I even matter to them anymore. Uh, I gotta get to class. I'll talk to you later. But you know what? I need a minute, Willow. But... Thanks. Thanks a lot. No problem. It felt super good to get off my chest. I will never recover from this. High school, college, who knows? I'll just be remembered as that one girl who got paid to be a nerd's girlfriend. Oh, hey Andy, what's up? I was about to go and grab a comb. You wanna come? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about something. I'm sorry about what I said on the phone the other night. You're right, I really do have a problem. It's okay, you don't have to be sorry. It was really hard for me to admit I had an eating disorder too. After I got off the phone with you, I passed the homophobia in front of my mom. I thought I had it 
all under control, but I obviously don't. It's okay, trust me. You have your mom and you have your friends to help you get through this. Wait, no, no, no. You're not saying a word about this to anyone. But Andy, you just said it. You can't handle this on your own. I don't care what I said. If you tell anyone about this, I will ruin you. I've been looking all over for you. I've heard what happened today. Are you okay? Have you heard? I've been canceled. Canceled? Says who? Not me. Whatever. You heard what happened, right? Yeah, but honestly, that Chaz guy's vibes have just been off since a damn met him. I mean, he's just mid. I had to go to cheer con, and I was desperate. Anyways, the whole thing's cringe. I regret every single part of it. Listen, you don't have to explain it to me. Okay, I'm here for you. I don't know how to explain it. It feels like we've known each other for our whole lives. I'm never trying to guess what he's feeling or what he's wondering, if he's judging me or not. It just, I guess, is different. Oh, hey. Hey. It's kind of awkward, huh? Yeah. Today's been real. By the way, um, if Monica tells you any like crazy stuff about me, like it's not true. Okay. Well, do I look like the person that believes anything that Monica says? What happened? Is she on your bad side again? No, nothing like that. Monica really isn't that bad, honestly. Well, I really have to tell you something that might change your mind about her. <laughs> oh, I can live for you all day! Yeah, yeah, you're fine, me back. Do I even have to tell you? Get out of my room. What? No, not until you tell me what happened. Did you destroy him in front of the whole school? Did Andy break his nose? Okay, just just tell me, please. Come on, tell me what happened. I'm the one who got destroyed in front of the whole school. What? How? He's the bully. Come on, that's not fair. Well, Star, life isn't fair. And besides, everyone thinks I'm a loser. A loser? You're not a loser. You're my big sister. You are the coolest, most smartest, most prettiest girl in that whole school. Trust me. Thanks. I really needed that. Love you. Love you. Mwah. Ew. What's up with Andy? She keeps disappearing after practice. I know. She hasn't been changing in the locker room. It kind of feels like she's hiding something. Yeah. Oh, Monica. Did you take the wrong turn or something? Yeah, what's up? Is the dance team waiting outside to beat us up or something? No, I wanted to talk to you guys about Andy. I normally don't take what Monica says seriously, but as she explains it, I realize I've never really seen Andy eat. She always sneaks off to the bathroom, and she never stops talking about dieting and losing weight. She thinks she can do it on her own, but trust me, it's much harder than that. She really needs her friend right now. Andy said that you were going to say something crazy like that and I shouldn't believe you. And I don't. Exactly. She would tell us if she was going through something like that. Exactly. She wanted me to keep her secret, but secrets like these are dangerous. Yeah, just like your secret, Monica. What are you talking about? Yeah, Casey, what are you talking about? Thank goodness, Monica's getting canceled instead of me. Except, it wasn't what I expected. At all. Every time I think I'm getting close to making friends, either I do something stupid to mess it up, or something stupid from my past comes back and, well, messes it all up. But this time, I really don't deserve it. So yes, I was in charge of fundraising the money, but I have no idea what happened to it. They all thought I stole it, but I didn't. I tried telling them who did it, and they wouldn't believe me. They kicked me out of school, and now I'm here. So you're saying that Darby and Joe stole the money and blamed you for it? I don't know. All I know is that Darby came to school the next day with a brand new pair of shoes, an Apple Watch, a gold chain, and a brand new skateboard. I'm sorry, Casey, but I really want to believe Monica on this one. Of course you do. You guys hate my other friends because they're different. I don't know. Maybe you can just ask them what happened? You know what? I will ask them. You'll see. Monica's scamming you guys all over again. Casey. Casey was kind of the first enemy I made at the school, so it makes sense if she might be the last person I can get to be my friend. Darby and Joe are trouble, not me. I just hope she figures that out before it's too late. So Monica says that I stole the money? 
Well, she did say that you just so happened to buy a lot of expensive stuff the very next day. Yeah, dude, you came covered in that drip that day at school. Did your mom win the lotto or something? <sighs> My freaking uncle died, dude. Look, he left me a couple stacks and I went crazy at the mall. I never had money like that before, so of course, I spent it all. Thanks, I knew she was lying, as usual. I can't believe that all the girls still want to be friends with her. She's definitely trouble. You're making the right call. You're right. I gotta go, guys. See you later. Dude, I thought you said your grandma was the one that gave you all that money. What is this, an interrogation? Are you calling me a liar or something? Yo, Joe? out. Uh, I was just asking. Right. Because I wouldn't. Good morning, Ringo. I'm a little sleepy today. Yeah, I didn't get much sleep. Somebody kept me up on the phone. Sorry, I just gotta lose track of time when we're hanging out. Yeah, honestly, same. Okay, so I have this like pretty cool idea. Maybe we can like go get lunch after school and study for that test on Friday. On to you. What are we planning over here? A picnic? Something like that. That's perfect. We can have a pizza party. Perfect. Loki, exactly what I had in mind. I mean, I've said it before, but it's just so obvious. Does anybody else see it besides me? Willow, Lucas, um, hashtag Lilo? What's up, Dada? What's the deal? <laughs> Look, it's the soundtrack to my nightmares. Can somebody put it on silent? You guys are the one who challenged us to this stupid dance off. It's been forever. Is it gonna happen or not? Quit with the drama, Bailey. Coach is in her office right now, so let's go get this started. Fine, let's go. Wow, this is so awkward. I feel like I'm finally making some friends, but I'm stuck in the middle of this feud between the cheer team and the dance team. Like, what would you do? Hey, do you guys have a minute? I guess, what's up? I was talking to Andy earlier and she said you guys were getting ice cream after school. Well, yeah, it's what we do after cheer practice. Well, I kind of invited myself along. I think it would be the perfect time to talk to her about... Today? The sooner the better, right? I figured if we do it in public, she won't make a scene. Well, obviously you don't know Andy. She's gonna go off the rails no matter where we talk to her. But you're right, she needs us. I doubt she told you guys, but she passed out in front of her mom the other day. If we wait, it might be too late. Whoa, I didn't realize it was that bad. I guess you're right. Count me in. Let's do what we gotta do. Okay, let's do this. Follow my lead. It might get a little ugly, but if we don't do anything, it might be too late. Okay, let's go. I'm confused. So Monica didn't take the money? Well, I mean, she says she did it, but... She did it, but my friend allegedly did. Well, did you ask Darby if he did it? I did. And? You know, I honestly don't know. Can you just get off my back? Whoa, whoa. Guys, chill. We don't all have to have the same friends, right? We're still gonna get ice cream together. Yeah, I guess. Bye, Mommy. And Casey's gonna be cool, even if Monica shows up, right? Whatever, let's go. Okay. You guys have no idea. The dance team is obsessed with this challenge. They just keep throwing me up in the air over and over again. It's so pathetic. They literally have no idea what they're doing. Andy, there's something that we kind of all wanted to talk to you about. Whoa, like all of you? Yeah, all of us. We just wanted you to know Andy, that. Andy, I told them. We all care about you and we all want you to get help. Are you serious? Monica, how am I supposed to be your friend if you can't even keep one little secret? Hey, are you all right? It's just, everyone knows now. It's so embarrassing. Not everyone, just your friends. I know it's awkward, but all the girls in there care about you so much. I just wanna be normal again. I don't want to be the girl with an eating disorder. Then let's do this. You have to trust us. You're right. I can't deal with it on my own. Let's go back in. You guys, 
I have something I need to tell you. Go ahead. It's okay. You guys were right. I have an eating disorder. I've been trying to hide it from everyone for so long. I just can't do it anymore. I have to get help. Andy, we know. We just want you to get better. Willow, will you walk me home? I need to have a talk with my mom. Of course. Come on. Well, hate to leave you here by yourself, but you know. Wait, I see what you're doing for Andy. You're actually a real friend to her, which kind of makes you my friend too. I just can't believe I didn't notice anything. It's okay. I only noticed because I had the same exact problem. I can tell you more about it if you want. Actually, yeah. Do you want to walk home together? Wow. Just wow. Did I actually just become friends with Casey? I mean, I didn't even try to trick her into it or anything. I was just being myself. You guys are witnessing, like, a whole new Monica. Hey! Hey! Hey, Casey! Oh, it's Joe. I hope this isn't awkward. Oh, hey, Monica. Hey Joe, how's Valley Village? Oh, you know, it's not the same without Monica the Mastermind around. Yeah, I forgot they called me that. Hey Casey, um, can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, sure. Monica, can you give us a sec? I hate to say it, but I think Monica actually might be right about Darby. You mean that Monica's actually innocent? Yeah, actually. Weird, right? Yeah, but that means Darby stole the money. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about all that. What do you mean you don't know? He stole the fundraiser money and threw Monica under the bus. I can't believe you can still be friends with him after all that. Jeez, Casey. I've known him since we're little kids. I can't just cancel him like that. Yeah, but I definitely can. So I guess this is goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know if you noticed, but, um... I feel like we've gotten really close, you know? Yeah, I get that. I really like you, Joe, but I said what I said. It's either Darby or me. I never thought I'd be saying this. I was against it at first, but I've been seeing a different side of Monica lately. We all kind of talked about it, and I think we agree. It's the right thing to do. Hey, Monica. What's up? Um, I don't know. I got a text from Milo saying to come in here. Is everything okay? Of course. You just left something and we wanted to give it to you. No, I don't think I did actually. Well, you're a size small, right? This should fit you. Whoa. What? Are you serious? <laughs> we all talked about it and we decided you should be on the cheer squad. I've wanted to be on the cheer squad ever since I got here. Wait. What about the dance team? We already told you. Cheer and dance don't miss! Ditch those losers. We've got your back now. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah. yeah, let's get out of here. Casey, what can I talk to you? Coach, if this is about my grades... It is about your grades. I just got your report card. Wait. Ever since we talked the other week, I've been studying like all the time. I even did extra credit. I believe you, but your GPA is too low. I have to suspend you from the cheer squad until the next grading period. I'm sorry. I understand, coach. I'm sorry I let you down. I can't believe this. Suspended? I feel like I've let the whole school down. I don't even know how I'm gonna break it to the rest of the squad. I'm just gonna try to keep it to myself for now. Let me know if you spot Bailey. I really don't want to deal with her right now. Please, you're a cheerleader now. You don't have anything to worry about. Guess you don't either, huh? Okay, but what do I do? Ever since the big breakup scene with Chaz, people have been messaging me, DMing me, commenting, and even saying mean things in the halls about me. First, stop reading that stuff. Change your number, then I won't be able to text you if they don't have it. Fine, but what next? Get off social media, just for a little, trust me. New gossip's gonna drop soon and everyone's gonna move on to the next drama. Oh my gosh, please make it be about Charlie. Please let it be about Charlie. He's the one who deserves all this stuff about me. I mean, I don't see why not. Do you want me to do something? I mean, can you? Honestly, I never really thought of getting back at Charlie. But you know, Monica makes it seem so simple and almost tempting. Hey Monica. 
Dad, Bailey's been looking for you. We have an idea for a routine that's gonna humiliate the cheer squad. Oh, hey Willow. Hi Megan. It's me again, thanks. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I don't wanna do it. Are you serious? What's your deal? Did the cheer clowns finally brainwash you? No, actually we asked her to join the squad. Wow, wait till Bailey hears about this. You just sabotaged the whole team. There's no way we're gonna win this now. Then don't do it. Auntie already asked you to call it off. She's in a bad release right now. Can't we just wait until she comes back? Or until she gets help? Wait, gets back from where? What kind of help? Monica, stop talking. No, it's cool. I think I know everything I need to know. For now. Oh my gosh, I think I just messed up bad again. Monica, Monica, Monica. That girl has got to learn how to keep her mouth shut at this school. Things are gonna be so weird without you being here. Seriously, who am I going to pass notes to in class? You guys, I'll be back in a few weeks. Besides, I have to get back so we can gear up for nationals. Yeah, nationals. My mom took me to see a doctor and they decided I should stay at this clinic for a few weeks. I mean, I'm gonna miss my friends, but more than anything, I need to get better so I can get back to cheer. Casey, it looks like you have a visitor. Uh, hey, can I talk to you outside for a second? Yeah, sure. I have been thinking about what you said about Darby. Okay, so? You're right, what he did was really messed up and I don't know if I can be friends with a dude who do something like that. Good, you're doing the right thing. So, does that mean we can still hang? Yeah, of course. Do you want to come inside and sit with us? Whoa, the pom-pom girls? I don't know if I'm ready for all that. Real talk? Friends kind of freak me out a little. You'll get used to it. Promise, they don't bite. Last time I saw Joe, I gave him a pretty big choice to make. Maybe it wasn't fair to make him pick between Darby and me, but there was no other way for me to keep seeing him. And actually, I really do want to keep seeing him. Seriously, don't worry about it. Trust me, you're gonna be way better when you get back. I know, I just... You just, what? I don't know. Last night, I was going a little crazy thinking about like, you know, what if you and Lucas like, fall in love while I'm gone and forget all about our pinky promise? No way, trust me. I already told him, he knows we're just friends. Why does she have to say that? Seriously, like, why? Lucas and I aren't doing anything wrong. But then again, why do I feel guilty every time I hang out with him? Well then, friend Fez, where is she going? You're the last thing I need to deal with right now, Megan. Give it a rest. What's this I hear about? You leaving town? Are you ghosting on our contest? <laughs> is this because Monica ditched you guys? Didn't I already get Bailey and Uncle sandwich over something like this? Calm down. I know you just ate. I wouldn't want to trigger an episode. What are you talking about? Oh, you know, word gets around. Uh, who even told you? Don't worry. Believe it or not, I can keep a secret. But I'm not really the one you need to worry about, am I? What have I done? I've spent weeks trying to get everyone to like Monica so she can finally join the cheer squad? Is she really stabbing me in the back? Already? The thought. What lie through yonder when Dope reads? Tis the east, and Monica is the sun. Uh, is that even English? What are you talking about? It's Shakespeare! Romeo and Juliet, actually. Very, very romantic stuff. Well, whatever you said to Casey and Joe definitely made sense. Nobody suspects anything of me. You know, they actually let me on the cheer squad today. Give me a few more weeks and I'll be cheer captain. Wait, don't they really have a captain? How does that work? Well, they do, but she's in a bad place right now. It's probably best if I take over right now. Seems like you got it all figured out. Meanwhile, Joe won't even talk to me anymore. You poor guy. You really took one for the team, didn't you? I mean, that's what friends are for, right? Yeah, friends. So. I maybe mentioned this before, but Darby might be a little obsessed with me. Why else would he do all these favors for nothing? But hey, I deserve it. I'm the only one who took the blame for the whole fundraiser mess. And he walked away like nothing ever happened. So, 
What was that other little favor I was asking you about earlier? Oh, Charlie Garden? I looked him up and his socials seem pretty easy to hack. Kind of a boring guy. What did he do to you anyways? He ruined my friend's life, that's what. I mean, can't you just like use this stuff to like ruin his life a little? Whoa, okay. Hacking into someone's life like that is very risky and really messed up. Well, you'll do it, right? For me? Okay, okay, I'll do it. But promise it's the last time, all right? You're the best. Then maybe after we could find some time to hang out? Uh, yeah, maybe. Mom, chill, I'm almost done packing. Hey, wait. Yo. It's Andy. What do you want? I already told you, the damn team is keeping your name out of our mouths. Thanks, I appreciate that. But honestly, doesn't it seem like it's Monica who's causing all the drama around here? Facts, she ghosted the whole dance team today. Bailey is furious. I can't believe you guys even want her around. What if I told you I had a plan to fix things? Bill it, I'm listening. Hey, it's Monica. Remember I said I could have you get revenge on Charlie? Oh yeah, I guess. What's up? Well, I'm doing it right now. My friend just hacked into his Instagram. Wait, Monica, what are you gonna do? Yes or no, Willow? We have to do this now. Uh, can I think about that for a minute? Uh, we already did it. Never mind. You're welcome. What? Monica! <sighs> hey, I didn't see you at school yesterday. Where were you? You know, I could kind of tell that there was like some tension between you and Andy, so I thought I'd give you guys your space. Yeah, it was definitely tense. You know, I hope things will be chill when she leaves for a couple of weeks. You know, this has been the first time we've been able to be alone ever since the pier that night. Yeah, except Andy won't be here making things awkward. Exactly. Um, Andy said something the other day before she left school. What'd she say? Um, well, never mind. I know I've made a promise to Andy, and I'm seriously trying, but what I'm actually wondering is if Annie was in my shoes, would she do the same thing for me? I know Casey would. Monica, maybe, but Andy, definitely not. Does this make me a bad friend?